football. Welcome back to the channel once again, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? How's your day? My day has been fantastic. Yeah. Um, so, today I am bringing to you a coloring haul. I've been talking about coloring on this channel for, I don't know, a couple months now. Um, probably close to when Crafting with Christy started coloring because we kind of both said we were going to start coloring at the same time. I still feel like I don't, I still feel I'm not good enough to color on my channel, but my sister Stacy has encouraged me just to go ahead and do it. She said, you never know. You may encourage somebody else to color. So, I'm bringing to you guys this whole collage of supplies to color with and books. And there's, 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 there's mul multiple books here. So, we will get into it. Trapper is here, Mary Jane is here, if you hear some noise in the background, it's them screwing with each other. So, first off, let set this off to the side, clear some space. Oh, you guys probably can't see it, but squirrel! So, my first thing I bought to start coloring with was... Prismacolor, Scholar pencils, I like them. My preference. I know there's a lot of people who don't really like Prismacolor. My sister told me this was a good, uh, a good grade to start out with to figure out if you're gonna like it or not with pencils. Mind you, I'm not a big fan of coloring with pencils, but I have 72 there. And 60 here, so you betcha I'm going to be using some pencils. I just got to grip my teeth and color. Uh, to me, pencils are like nails on a chalkboard. I It may sound weird for some of y'all, but to me, when I'm writing with a pencil, it feels like somebody is sliding nails down a chalkboard. So, that's the first thing. There is... I love this little case. But So there is quite a bit of colors in here. And you can tell I have used them. The family has used them. My nephew has used them. So I'm gonna set those off the side. And then the second thing I bought was gel pens. This was before Mrs. Coffee was an affiliate with Arteza. I'm missing one right there because I'm using it to write with when I something that pops into my brain because the craft room you would think would have a pen in here but it don't with all the the pens in my skull you would think there would be a regular oh that needs to come out that's my water brush you would think there would be a regular old pen in here but no all right, all diamond painting pens, but anyways, so 60 Arteza gel pens. I actually did some coloring with those. Where is that book? Oh, right here. It's in my Dolly Parton book. I bought this for a friend, and she already had it, so I just kept it for myself. Let me find it. <clears throat> oh, I, I never even finished it. Um, I'm still in the process of finishing it. Got, got the boots. Them boots are made for walking. So that's with uh, gel pens. I got to get back to coloring on that. So, and then my sister said, you know, if if you're going to be seriously getting into some coloring. 
you might as well get into some alcohol markers. So it is not a bad word. Oh, hoo hoo. <laughs> it's a joke. So I bought an 80 count set of oh hoo hoo's. I, I, I really need to get some more because I love these oh hoo hoo markers. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys some stuff I have colored with these oh hoo hoo's. I, I really like them for the price that they are. They color extremely nice. Um, yeah, I need to buy some more because I need some more colors. But for the most part, those are extremely nice. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like I have this tickle in my throat for like the last couple of days. I better not be getting sick. So, this was... One of the first things I had colored with the Ohuhus. Some purples and reds and teals. And then I colored her with the Ohuhus. I don't know why, but I like coloring ladies. Is that offensive? And then I colored her. And it's, it's, it's like the Indian ladies. I, I don't know. I'm just drawn to my Indian heritage. Got her. Got her makeup all did. And then... This one. It's with the Ohuhu markers. And then these last couple I'm going to show you. Oh, no, wait. This one is done with Ohuhu markers. This is the last one I was working on. I have to finish the feathers. These other two I used the Artezas on, so I'll show you with the Artezas. Um, so when Mrs. Coffee became an affiliate, I went ahead and bought the 72 pack of pencils. I've only used, I've only sharpened a couple because, like I said, pencils are like nails on a chalkboard to me. It's something I have never liked. This one has, don't fall, three trays in it. All really nice. Colors it's from purples to greens to browns and pinks and yellows, blue, more greens and purples. So, yeah, I got those. Um, definitely going to be getting into some of these soon. I just have to sit down and grip my teeth and just just do it. All right, I'm gonna get a sip of some sweet tea. Oh, you want to tease? Some sweet tea. I just made it, poured it over ice. Oh my god! Yes. So all of these coloring books, I have. Uh, purchased or was sent to me from friend mail. Let me grab my chair and we'll look in through some of these pictures. All right, the camera's way high, so I don't know what you guys are seeing, so I'm gonna bring you down low. Hold on one second. So, this one I bought off of Amazon. It's got a lot of nice coloring in it. I started with pencils. I don't like the way pencils feel on this style of paper. So this paper is probably going to be... I'm probably going to end up and take it to work and print it out on a better paper. Because this paper don't feel right with colored pencils. 
and some of this stuff is so small. I'm not going to flip through all of it, but some of it is so small. And then you got some bigger, like this, it's just full of small stuff, which is cool. So, there is a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff in here. So, I'm not going to sit here and flip through every single page, because that would literally take all night long. Um, most of these I have bought off of Amazon. Um, I got some of those ones over there from Walmart. Um, this one, I didn't realize what it was when I got it. It tells you a little bit about the... The bees and different things in the pictures. I got it because it was forest animals. And I just, you know me, I'm a hunter. Forest animals are cool. The fox. But, a flying squirrel. Squirrel! I didn't like how it had the writing at the bottom. It tells you what each end of it. Oh, look at that squirrel. He was a cute squirrel. Ah! A squirrel! Ah! So, yeah, I'm not going to sit here and go through every single one, like I said, but there's a lot of good coloring in them. And then this one, squirrel! Uh, I just didn't know that it had the writing down at the bottom, the same way. Now I can take that and take it to work and blow it up and get rid of that. But... It's the same way. It's got some chipmunks and some... Different underwater creatures. Squirrel! I bought it mainly because it's full of squirrels. <clears throat> Anyways, enough of that. I'm not going to flip through every single page because that's just boring. I'm sure there's probably going to be a lot of people that are like, ah, I don't care. Um, so this page here, I photocopied this, not this, but I photocopied it out of the book. It is somewhere like right there. I have a little printer. Right there. I take it and I photocopy it. That one I colored with my Arteza. Oh, I didn't even do my Arteza real brush pens. I like these, but I don't use them as like a, a marker. Um, I guess I'm weird. Um, there's a lot of, there's some good colors in here. But there still could be some better choices of colors. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys a couple of pictures that I colored with these. <clears throat> and I'll do a demonstration on how I color with these. Because I don't color straight onto paper. I'm weird. So I tried <coughs> duplicating this page as they show here. Well, I couldn't just make it the same. I had to make my own twist on it. So that page is, right, this is my version. Um, I didn't have blues quite like this. I didn't have like this light. Velvet teen. I don't even know how to say it. how you would it's like a a Rose pink or something. I didn't have anything close to that <clears throat> so That is my version using the Arteza, Arteza water brushes um, Somebody tried telling me that that's a a, a Pinto uh, no, no 
get your horses straight. That is a paint. The way you can tell the difference between a paint and a pinto. A paint is a combination of two colors. A pinto, three colors. A paint is usually white, black, white, gray, white, brown, so on. A pinto is usually white, brown, and black. You might find it every once in a while, a different color combination, but not very often. <clears throat> While I'm showing you guys this picture, let me get rid of the horses. Um, I don't know what book this came out of, but I really, 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 really like this picture. I, I, I did with the Arteza brushes, brush tips. But, like I said, I didn't use them as markers. I used them as paint, I guess you would call it. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll give you guys a demonstration of what I'm talking about. Either in this video or my next video. But I, I just love this koi. It's absolutely beautiful i love the different variances and the, the flowers the, well i believe that's a lotus flower correct me if i'm wrong but i just the different variances this one oh you can see a little bit of the greens i added green to it to uh yeah there's your greens just to give it that breakup color so those are what i've colored with the <clears throat> Good gosh, I need a drink, sorry. I keep trying to clear my throat. I feel like my th my throat's like super scratchy all the time. <clears throat> There's that business card. It's down there on the floor. I was wondering where it went. So this is a hardbound book I picked up at uh, Amazon. I think the main reason I picked it up is because of him. I don't remember if he was in here, but I remember seeing a picture of a rooster, and I was like, oh yes, I need that rooster in my life. Come on, I want to see if that rooster's in here. Let's flip the pages. Crab. Duck. Elephant. Elephant. I say elephant funny. I don't know why. I've always said elephant. Not elephant. Come on, where's the rooster? Sister, if you guys don't know, my sister, Stacy, who's the one, oh God, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I love hummingbirds. Oh, I didn't see that, lionfish, oh yeah. <laughs> it almost looks like a s snake eye, but the snake eye don't have that face. Snake eyes are fish as fish. He is cool looking. Owls. Come on. Is the rooster. Oh, there's the peacock. The snake. Yeah, it's a green mamba. I don't know. Probably... <gasps> there he is. Look at that eyeball. He's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, I, I absolutely love roosters. My grandma used to be a, the chicken lady. She used to cut their heads off. Watch them flop around on the floor like a marionette. And oh, look at sister. She likes 
giraffes and sea turtles. And then a big turtle. A toucan. And that's it. So that's probably the only book I'm actually going to really flip through. Because I don't want to make this video like extremely long. Um, here's my water brush that I got with my Artezas. So, this book here is actually one of my, I think my favorites because it came on a spiral bound. I was like, yes, I love it. I love the pictures, uh, the, the pages in this. It's got, it's got a perfed edge right here. So you can easily score it along the perf and rip it out or leave it in the book. And they're all, really? I started coloring this. But like I said, I photocopy everything so I'm not wasting my pages. I can go back to them later. Look how cute it is. Egg corn, oak leaves, a dove. I'm just going to flip through quickly. Ah, squirrel! I just love it. Eh, I don't care for that. Flowers. I was watching a, a... Excuse me. A video today showing how to color uh, leaves. So I'm going to try that technique. Who don't like a hooter? I've actually started coloring this page. Uh, I, oh, shoot. Sorry, you guys. I just absolutely bumped you with my foot. But I didn't like the colors I was picking. So I decided to scrap it. Flowers. Mushrooms. Yeah. Go mushrooms. I absolutely love this page. How it shows the rings in the wood. If you guys don't know, the rings in the wood is actually uh, years of how old the tree is. And it's called frog. Some blue jays. Aww. I thought those were ladybugs, but they look like strawberries or Blackberries or something. Oh, look at how cute. <laughs> just the pages in this book are just awesome. Oh, it's beetles and ladybug or um, beetles and dragonflies. And then a dove. Good things. Yeah, who cares? Cute. There's deer, wolves, just, look how cute that is. Like, would you not want to color that? It's a, it's a tree that comes up around the top and is sh shaped as like a moon. God, I need to find me a, a coloring book of this of the solar system. That would be cool. I need to find me a Yeah. Yeah. I need some solar system stuff. <gasps> oh my god. I seen this page on one of the previews. I don't remember where exactly it was at, but it was I think it was on Amazon and they showed this page and I was like, oh yes, I need it. Cause there's a deer over here. There's a bunny, another bunny. It's just cute. Absolutely cute. And that. Oh my god, a squirrel. 
And then this shows some coloring to follow their steps and yada yada yada. And shows you some more of their steps of coloring. Blah blah blah. Okay, let me move this stuff because I already went through this stuff. Um these came from my sister Stacy. She was going through her stuff and decided to pull out some stuff and donate it to me. So I can use. Like I said, I make copies of everything so I don't have to worry about ruining the book. A toucan. Or not a toucan. A parrot. Arr, look at the... He's got like feathers, like he's an Indian. <laughs> Trapper, you want to be a Jeremy and JTMJ Crafts uh, video without Trapper barking in it? Right? <laughs> Enough! So, <clears throat> there were some paintings in here. Paint, I, I won't want to say paintings because I turned into a painting, but there were some absolutely beautiful pictures in here. I'm not going to flip, sit here and flip through every single one of them. But I thought there was a page in here that I absolutely loved. This one is just loose. Anyways. Let's see. No, I don't see anything off the top of my head. This book came from my sister. It was Color by World. It's got a lot of cool pictures in it. Look at the roses. I want to color some roses. My elephant. I'm not going to flip through every single page. Let's just do a quick flip. I don't want to make this video too terribly long, so... Oh, that's my favorite kind of bird. You're probably going, yeah, how do you tell us your favorite kind of bird? Because I love cockatoos. I want a cockatoo. I want oh, a cockatoo. Or I want a parrot. I want something. Um, I If you guys didn't know, I, my brother used to work for a pet store and hey oh, that's kind of cool and what oh i thought they were roosters i was gonna say yeah um so i got some owls these two books here Came from going on Grumpy. Thank you, Grumpy. If you guys want to send me something, friend mail, message me. I'll verify who you are, and I will send you my address. But I am thinking about getting a P.O. box because it'll just be so much easier than have to worry about giving my address out. So this book is all... Hooters. Hooters, 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 Hooters. No, I'm joking. They're all owls. I call owls Hooters, if you don't know. Owls on a freaking rocking horse? Cool. Um, squirrel, because I don't even know where I was gonna, what I was gonna say. Wow. I have not a clue what I was going to say. So, let's just move on because I don't remember. Um, this book is different. It's, it's kind of cool. Kind of shows you what you're supposed to color it to. It shows, and then it goes to the page. 
And I, I kind of like how it's got this back here so you can write notes if you need to. But I'm definitely going to be getting into one of these for Christmas time. Believe. Believe in yourself. Because you can do it. You can do it. Uh, I haven't watched Little Nicky in forever. There's some cool ones in here, though. And then down here, it, like, shows you the colors that they used. So, it's a cool book, for sure. All you need is love and hot cocoa. Hell yeah. I love this hot cocoa. Peace on Earth. Winter Wonderland. I like this one. It's kind of cool. My problem with coloring, I have to visualize the picture and think of my colors before I even start coloring. Otherwise, I will sit there for hours and try to pick out colors. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Ba la 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 la. Anyways. Um, this is a set I picked up at Walmart. It was five bucks for four books. It has 96 designs. There was pretty cool stuff in here. Uh, peacock, bird. I like how there's a lot of open spaces. I don't like coloring backgrounds necessarily. So if there's a page that doesn't have a background, I, I'm, I'm game on that because I don't really care for coloring backgrounds. I don't like coloring wide open spaces. I like coloring bigger spaces, but not like wide open spaces. Like, see, like this, I can handle this. I just don't like super, super smooth, fine stuff. And then I like this. This is, this is no for me. I, I don't, I don't do that kind of stuff. But like this, eh, too small. Like that, I can handle that. So I'm going to try to, or try my best to get a video up for you guys next week. I am going to bring back, whoa, 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 my, 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 my hummingbird. Um, yeah, I'm going to bring back my hummingbird. That's what I was thinking of. I'm going to bring back my paint by numbers because it is starting to cool off, which is nice. Um... I way too hot. And um, when it's hot, I don't like working on my paint by numbers. Because the paint by number I have is a fox. Um paint by number I have is made out of squirrel. Is made out of um uh Oil base. There you go. Oil base. And I don't like oil base. When it's hot, oil base dries super, super fast. So there's a lot. See, I like this kind of coloring. I don't have to worry about the background. Like that. And I mean, maybe later on down the road, but right now, no. pisses me off because I think there's only one picture of a horse in this book and this was the front book and I was like a horse book? Yes! But no, it's not really a horse book. It's... Yellow? Good lord, that's going to be some coloring right there. What the heck is that supposed to be? I don't even know. Peace. It's the peace van. Oh, that kind of 
that kind of looks like that uh, um, that elephant that Creative Mayhem was doing. This paper is a little bit thicker of a paper. Oh, there's another horse. But it's not the best paper. Stay wild. So I will be definitely be taking it to work. Ooh, I like that. I'll be taking it and making copies. Pretty. Ooh. Dreamcatcher. I don't remember seeing a Dreamcatcher. Whoever cut these books, you need to change your cutting block because focus. There's the paper are all ruffled up. That's your cutting block. Trust me, I know. I cut on a big cutter every day. You have to change your cutting block every so often. So I'm just going to push those back. These last four books I have here are books that I bought using a gift card from Mrs. Coffee. That was for my birthday. I've already colored in this book. Well... I've made copies of pages in this book. These last four, I'm going to go ahead and do a flip through of all four because these are from Mrs. Coffee. And these four books are probably going to be the, my main majority of coloring because they're all mainly Indian or native or, you know, whatever. That's interesting. How would you color? I guess you just color it in the, the... Yeah. Okay. Huh. You have a half a face. Per day. She's got a crow. This one, I already started. Like you guys seen earlier. I have to finish her. So you get a better picture here. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Is that all hair? Good lord, if it is all hair. <laughs> She's got a bull on her face. I'm also, ooh, ooh, I'm snacking on one of my favorite, favorite, favorite snacks. I had to get a drink of some sweet tea. My very, favorite, very, 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 very favorite snack. It is munch. It is brittle. So, so it looks like, yum, yummy, yummy, yummy. I just had to tease you guys. I don't see them all too often anymore. I found them at the store by my work today, and I was like, are you freaking kidding me? You guys have these? She's got a tattoo. Whoa. All right. Oh, it's shading. I was like, what the heck is that? Yeah, that one's okay looking. Not bad. 
Definitely got a lot of small stuff. That would be a nice project. Whoa. Look at her. I don't know. Some of them look kind of cartoony to me, but still fun to color. What's wrong with her eyes? I don't know because they're so big. Very nice. This is one I've already colored. Let's see what I did with her. I think she looks pretty good. What I did. Makeup's on point. <laughs> I don't know why I love coloring faces of women. Hello. Oh, sorry, it's a picture, not an actual lady. <laughs> I say hello to ladies all the time. Hello. And this just talks about a couple other books they have. Sister, sister. This is what they showed on Amazon, and I was like, um, well, between the front, which is weird. I don't see that picture anywhere in the book, but I seen these, and I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, let's see, let's get to this one. This is an animal grayscale. I think this is the only actual grayscale book coloring book I have. <clears throat> I'm kind of scared to start grayscale, to tell you the truth. Squirrel! Um, it's just... I don't know. It's a whole new world with grayscale. Ow! Sorry. He's got like a mark right there. And I thought they were all going to go that way. A baby deer. That is a doe. You want to know how you tell if it's a doe or a buck? When they're a baby? When they're a baby and they still have their spots? If the top row right here across his back is like dot 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 Like a straight line, that's a buck. If it's broken up like this one is, that's a doe. Got a big old billy goat. Yeah. Not my cup of tea, some of these, but it's coloring. <gasps> oh my god. You guys, cheetahs are like one of my spirit animals, from what I was told. Um, I've loved cheetahs since I was a little kid. Look at the chipmunk. Oh my goodness. It's not a squirrel. It's a chipmunk. He is cute. There's something wrong with the printing. You guys see that? The base of his tail. Like there's something there and here. They're a piece of film that they were using or their plate. It had something show up on it. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. I'm a printer. I've been a printer for 20 years, July. Mm. I would love to go shoot you. <clears throat> that could be an elk. I can't really tell. It looks like an elk. Black tail buck. This is what kind of bucks we have in my, my neck of the woods. Oh, uh, it's two foxes getting a little aggravated with each other. Oh, goodness. Giraffe. 
Oh, birds on his neck. You guys see that? He's got birds on his neck. They must be picking bugs off of him. A hummingbird sitting on some branches. Oh, woodpecker. Okay. Oh, a lion. If you guys don't know, I am a Leo. Leo the lion. Oh, it's my old bird. I used to have a bird like that. Depending on the color. Mine was green. And he was... Let's see. There's three different... I guess you'd say species of macaws. This is a macaw. Um... I can't even think right now. I know the, the name of the one I had, but I'm thinking of the other. So there's a, a, a blue and gold macaw, and there's a red macaw. I don't remember the actual names of them. There's specific names for them. The one I had was called a military macaw. He was green with a red head. His name was Pepper. He was a mean mean bird. He knew every dirty word in the book. That's where I was going earlier. That's where I was going earlier when I was trying to tell you guys something. My brother used to work at a pet store and he brought one of these birds home because they were closing the pet store and the bird has such a filthy mouth when... So the lady that owned the pet store, her mom taught the bird a bunch of dirty words. The bird used to call people um, not so nice words. Um, white, colored, Mexican. Yeah, he was a dirty bird. He would walk. He would. Yeah, he was a very dirty bird. He would cuss up a storm. That's where I was going earlier, and I got squirreled out. Um, an eagle or. Some type of an eagle. Polar bear. An owl. Oh, look at Mr. Groundhog. And a fox. You know, you know, just a little fox. Squirrel. <clears throat> he says, Oh, you took my nuts. <laughs> Do eh, seagull seals <gasps> a squirrel. This is what kind of squirrels we have in my neck of the woods. They're called gray squirrels. We have gray squirrels and ground squirrels. Ground squirrels live in the whole ground. <gasps> There's my dream hunt right there. This is a red stag. Looks very similar to the elk. Where's the elk? Where is the elk? Elk. Red stag. They look ex really, really close, except for a red stag goes, uh, uh. they make really weird grunting noises. And you find these guys in uh, New Zealand and stuff like that, so you have to go go a long ways. I, I, there's some places like in Texas that are starting to bring them in um, that you can hunt them. But it's in a gated, like, fence, so it's, to me, that's not hunting. It's got a swatch area. Thank you, Chaos Books. There's that one. And we have this one. Native American artist 
our artwork and designs, adult coloring. I like that. It's got a lot of swatch area. Um, I think I've gotten into this book. Love it. I love this book. I could use that right there as a pattern for Native American beading. It's pretty much all I need. So I know where to put the beads, how much, how many steps to stagger them, all that good stuff. Grr, I wouldn't have killed me a bear. Very pretty. I don't know necessarily about painting mountains and stuff. I think I did okay with my last one I painted. Well, I say painted. I think I did okay with this one. But I'm still learning. That's okay. Everybody's still learning. Here, I'm trying to make this a fast video. And we're already at 50 minutes. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit. I love this. Love, love, love it. See, I, I don't know if I would even know how to color this because to me, this grass area, it would drive me up a wall. I don't know how to color grass without making it all one color. What's up, chief? Some teepees. Mask wolves overlooking the moon, mountains, a creek or a river. I like that. Oh, it's got a paint. Indian woman with a wolf pup. Very pretty. Love me some eagles. Oh. He's putting that dance down. And that's it. Nope. nope there's another one. Free bonus page from Native American Coloring. Huh. Okay. Cool. Oh. There's where I found the koi. Bonus page of koi. So, I'll show you what the koi looks like and what I did with it. I think it looks really good. And, go. Happy fall. Awesome. I think I looked through this book. I had to look back here. Bonus page, coloring notes. Cool, cool. Do you guys know where to get any Native American coloring books? Let me know. Let me know. Let a brother know, because I love me some Native, my Native American heritage. This book is the last book that I purchased with the Amazon gift card with, or from Mrs. Crochet Coffee. All right. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. Jade Summers. Here comes Trapper. Oh, it's stiff. I don't want to bend it, but I've got to. Okay. I always hate breaking the spine on that book. But if you do it right the first time and get a nice good fold on it, you shouldn't have to bother with it. So, 
that right there is the cover. I love it how the backs of the pages are black. And this book wasn't only Native American. I just seen that and I was like, okay, that drawed me in right there. Lion King. We got, uh, it's a she. Um, she's got elf ears with trees growing out. She's got wings. Different. <gasps> it's an anchor with a compass and a rose. That's pretty. I like that. Kind of. I was going to say steampunk, but I don't even know if that's really steampunk. I don't have no clue what steampunk is. Uh, a Viking. Oh. My side of my family has like this much Viking in them. Okay, that just reminds me of the, the movie Mask. <laughs> okay, that right there is beautiful. I absolutely love how, ooh, it's got like a spider web. Oh, his foot's drawn up to the spider web. Oh, that's pretty freaking cool. The detail. I just love how I don't have to color around out here. It's all inside the bubble. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, now that's steampunk. Because she's like half human, half tin. I don't know, being a goober. Ooh, ooh, hey, 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 Mr. Woofy. Don't come knocking on my door. Ow, holy smokes. That's cool. And then Birdie. Elephant. I like this. Skull turned into a clock. I guess this is kind of like a steampunk in a way. Correct me if I'm wrong. I like that. I like anything with a lion on it because I'm a Leo. <gasps> Some cobras. I like snakes. That's cool. Oh, oh, oh! It's a better fish. It's a better fish. I love better fish. If you haven't noticed, I, I actually have a second channel that is all fish, Mary Jane, Trapper, uh, me. It's called JTMJ. And fish, it stands for Jeremy, Trapper, Mary Jane, and fish. <sighs> oh, I love it. Can't wait. Do some color. Oh, 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 look at those wings. They're like, got that native look in a way. I like it. I like it a lot. Super thin pages, but like I said, I, I copy everything. <gasps> oh my god. Look at the tree and then the bald tree. Do you guys see that? No leaves. Leaves. That is freaking... That's awesome. They thought of some detail there, for sure. A scorpion with a rose. Different, but that's cool. Very cool. Um, what are, is this supposed to be bamboo, I guess? Okay, I get that. At first I was like, what's this supposed to be? But it kind of looks like bamboo, but bamboo's usually in longer strips, like it would, Anyways, yeah, you, you don't care. Um, okay, that is pretty cool. 
She's got an angel wing. Uh, dragon wing, I guess. With a, a horn. And it looks like she got a cut eye. I heard the eyes are different. You guys see that? Her eyes are different. Wow. That's pretty cool. I like this book already. Uh, it's the ship. It's the pirate. It's awesome. And then we're back to the beginning because you guys know Jade Summers. You get two copies of pages. This is volume number two. I'm going to have to go look for volume one. Volume three. I, I don't know how many volumes she has. But... Definitely worth the price. I think I paid like six, seven bucks for this book. I think the all the books that Mrs. Coffee or I used Mrs. Coffee's gift card paid for all the books. I think I had to put a couple bucks on top of it, but that's all I have for you guys. I kept it right at right at a little over an hour. Was trying not to make it super super long so that's it that's all i got for you i have no more guttering i just love how this picture turned out so that's it while we're still here Oops, I just dropped my stuff. I cheat. I use a glass plate. Let me find... So, I figured I'd show you guys how I colored the sky. I have my color right here. What I basically did is just put the color on the plate. Like this. That's why I want watercolors... And then I took my water pen. You can see the paint on there. And I just, oops, it's dripping. I don't want it to drip. And I just rub this all over it. It turns the tip of this blue. And then I just, and as the lighter you go down, it pulls the ink down. To where there's no, hardly no blue left. That's how I do it. There's a little demonstration for you. That's basically how I colored this whole picture. I can't really say I colored it because I used it as like a paint. But that's pretty much what it looks like. Once that dries, it'll blend in better. But that's pretty much how I painted this whole thing. And you can see the paper it has gotten wet. Wrinkly, just a different way of using them. That's why I want watercolors because I will start using watercolor paper and actually coloring this with watercolor instead of coloring. It just it comes off easier to me. That's all. See, it's already starting to dry and it's already fading out. That's it. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope you all enjoy. I will try to have a paint by numbers out this week. Probably Thursday. It's going to be the day for that. And next, probably Tuesday. Because Wednesday is collab day with Sister Addiction. 
I don't know. I need to reschedule because I don't like it being bunched up into three days in the middle of the week. I kind of want to separate it. Maybe I'll put a poll up on on YouTube and you guys tell me what you want to see a video on. Not Saturday or Sunday because I go live Saturday and Sunday is my day off to recuperate. I do want a couple extra days off. I only want to put up a video like three days out of the week right now. Uh, later on, after hunting season's over, I may go back to four or five days a week. But for right now, that's what it is. You see how it's dark and then it just fades out. The technique... I don't know where I picked it up at, but I like it. I like using it. I just need to get some watercolor paper. This paper isn't, is it, it's holding up pretty good for being done with watercolor. But yeah, I'm just rambling. I'm squirreling over here. So that's all I have for you guys today. As always, remember peace. Treat each other how you want to be treated, and I hope you get that same respect back.